Hello everyone and welcome to the first of my uh, Wind in the Willows merchandise videos. So as you can see I've got a jigsaw puzzle in front of me here. Um, so this video is dedicated to all the um, jigsaw puzzles uh, that I believe were released. Um, there's a total of uh, what we got four of these small ones, uh, four large ones and then one uh, random one as well which we'll get to shortly. Uh, but yeah these were released uh, in 1982 actually so that's why I'm starting with these so that of course uh, predates the original Cosgrove Hall film which uh, premiered in December 1983 uh, on ITV uh, so that's what's interesting about these so let me just find the uh, there we go so if you can see that on there it says Cosgrove Hall Productions Limited 1982 um, and these are really nice, these are a lovely set. Uh, the first one, as you can see here, uh, is in Mole End and um, it represents the first scene of the film. Uh, and this this is a still that I actually haven't seen elsewhere. I don't recognise this um, photo, so it was probably uh, specially done for the, this puzzle, which is uh, quite nice. And um, uh, what they've done is they've actually um, laid out uh, quite a few extra props that uh, weren't necessarily seen in the film or certainly not together like this. I like that we've got uh, Mole's cup of tea there, we've got the pots of paint, uh, we've got the duster and the feather duster in his hand there. Really lovely and you can, you can see all these details in Mole End that you don't necessarily see in the film uh, in quite as much detail such as the, uh, the cobwebs. Look at those lovely cobwebs on the, the corner there. Really nice and um, what's also interesting about these puzzles and what struck me when I first saw them uh, was the lettering. So um, I guess we can't really <laughs> refer to it as a logo but um, the lettering, the font used for the Wind and the Willows um, is slightly like the final one that they went with but you can see it's actually very different. Um, and this bothered me when I first got these puzzles. I thought well why is it different? Um, why haven't they gone with the original? And what seems to make sense to me now, because this predates uh, the film, is uh, this was the original um, lettering that they were going to go for. And what confirmed this for me is that I've actually got uh, in my collection a piece of um, artwork uh, from, uh, well, that would have been used for the opening titles, but then ultimately wasn't. And it was a sheet of acetate on uh, top of a photo uh, with this actual lettering, this actual font. Um, which is really interesting. So it just it just suggests to me that this um, that's what they were originally going to go for, and then of course that was scrapped, and uh, the font became the one that we that we all know and love. Or well, I know I certainly do. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is um, the first one in the set of um, four of the little ones. You can see it's um, by a company called Arrow Arrow Puzzles. Uh, Twenty five pieces and includes four toy shaped pieces, which is um, quite nice. Ages three to six, so obviously aimed at uh, young children. And if we open it here, you can see inside there, see if the light can catch that there. You, uh, I don't know if you can make out the four toy shaped pieces. So we've got a teddy bear there, uh, we've got a car there, upside down. <laughs> um, we've got an upside down boat, it can help if I turn it around this way. Um, unfortunately, they're not the, the, the right way around for the puzzle. They're actually flipped, but yeah, teddy bear, car, uh, we've got a train there and a boat. Um, really nice touch and great for, for children. Um, and I'm quite pleased with the, the quality of this. Um, although I have got one, I'm lucky enough to have one sealed as well. So there's my sealed one and I'll always keep that sealed. Uh, very lucky to find those. Um, in terms of how I got these, uh, they are basically um, mostly from eBay. Um, Apart from this sealed one here, which I got um, in 2020, very recently actually, in December I think, uh, where I collected them specially and I found them on Facebook Marketplace. So it's this sealed one and uh, another one which I'll show shortly. Um, but I want to show you the others in this set. So that's number one. Number two was this. Um, and for some, well, for whatever reason, I, I find this one is the rarer one. I've, I don't think I've ever seen this come up on eBay again. And when, of course, it came up, I um, bid on it and thankfully won it. Um, and I'm very happy with this one. This is a nice one of Ratting Mole, as you can see on the boat, on the river, and you can see um, Toad Hall in the background there. Um, you can actually, if you look carefully, you can see that these are the miniatures of Ratty and Mole. Um, and of course the miniature version of the boat and that's what they use for the uh, wide shots in the shooting. 
Um, but yeah, similar style, all the same details on the side there. You can see arrow puzzles again, ages three to six, four toy shaped pieces, all the same deal. Um, and the quality of this was perfect until, <laughs> until I let my youngest daughter grab hold of it. Um, bless her, wasn't her fault, totally my fault. Um, I think she was about one or two years old at the time. And see that piece there? I found that in her mouth. So there we go. So keep your collection away from children is my advice. <laughs> Shame, because that was perfect otherwise, perfect condition. Uh, this one, the pieces are the right way up. You can see the four toy shaped pieces there. Uh, 25 as before. Another really lovely puzzle. And then of course we have number three, uh, which is this. So this is number three. Uh, and this is a lovely scene here. Um, again, uh, kind of reminiscent of the film, but this is kind of like a typical scene you'd see in the series. So Badger telling Toad off, Ratty Mole sort of looking on in the background there. Uh, what's interesting about this and um, I've had conversations with Barry Purvis and various people who worked on it, uh, was that a lot of these photos were taken uh, very early on, so uh, actually quite a bit before a lot of the animation began. So they were still, still sort of designing and dressing the sets. And what this setup suggests is that Ratty's house is almost ready, but not, they haven't quite made all the final decisions. And if you look at the picture there uh, that we see in um, all the film and the future episodes, even in the film, it's actually hung up, I believe, hung up above these oars, or maybe it's below them, I can't remember, but um, it's not actually on the shelf, but it is in the, the photos. So it just suggests that um, the set wasn't quite ready at this point. But again, lovely puzzle there, um, all the same details. And if I open this up, quite pleased with this. Um, uh, quite nice condition, and that's another one where the puzzle is the wrong way around in turn in relation to the um, toy shaped pieces uh, but that doesn't really matter does it uh, but this is the other sealed one i've got so there it is there very pleased to have found that this one just found on ebay uh, can't remember when but this one like i say was found with that other one uh, recently um, facebook marketplace very rare of course to find them sealed and i'm very lucky to have that I'm very pleased with that uh, and then the final one in that set is this of Toad in his car. Um, out of all the one, all of them, I'll probably say this is the most common one. I've seen this a few times appear on eBay. Um, eBay? <laughs> eBay. Um, I like this. Uh, this is the miniature version of Toad um, in his green car, so the first of his cars uh, that he has in the film. Uh, really lovely shot, that. And uh, there's the puzzle inside, and that one the puzzle is the right way up <laughs> in relation to the pieces. Very random, isn't it? There you go. So, you, and these do have numbers. I don't know if you can see there. You can see it says number four there. I can get that in focus. Yeah, number four. So each of them have those numbers there, one to four. Um, so this is the uh, number one then of the set of the larger ones. You can see it's got uh, number one on the side there. Um, just get that in focus. So number one. Same details, but these, um, as opposed to the last ones, which were cardboard, these are wood puzzles and 50 pieces, and the age bracket is a little higher, so ages five to eight. Um, but yeah, again, arrow puzzles, we've got the same uh, font that we had with the other ones. And again, the year, I believe, yes, 1982, as it says on the side there. Uh, but yeah, lovely, lovely puzzles. Love this shot, I'm just gonna open this up. Um, so because they're wood, obviously much thicker pieces. Let's see if I can just take one out here. Um, really stuck together actually, but yeah, you can see the thickness of that. Um, nice quality, really nice quality. And lovely pieces. I mean, I mean to be honest, I've I've even considered putting these on the wall because they, I think jigsaws always look nice on the wall. Um, you know, framed. Um, I haven't actually got any <laughs> in my home, but. Um, yeah, maybe one day, it might be quite nice to have them. Especially because um, I've got one or two of these. Uh, well, actually I've just got this one sealed, um, which I've got here. So there's the sealed one, really nice condition. Uh, maybe one day I'll find all the others sealed, but um, I'm in no immediate rush to, to find them. But it's nice to have a, a couple sealed. So, so yeah. And then the next one in that set, the wooden ones, we have here. So um, this is a 
reminiscent of the Dulcy Demon chapter or scene in the film. Lovely, lovely shot, Ratty and Mole. It's lovely to see all the detail of the food here on the table. Uh, we've got some of the field mice gathered around them. I like that it's three on each side. Just beautifully composed, really nicely done. Uh, I also like that we've got a few little um, <laughs> remains of when Mole was uh, spring cleaning. So we've got his paint pots there and um, newspapers, various bits and pieces. Got the ladder in the background. Really lovely. And uh, I'm very fortunate that all of these are really in really good condition, although that one's got a few marks there but it's not too much of a worry. Really lovely. And notice how uh, Mole's got a picture much like Ratty has in his home. Almost like they're a set, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, so beautiful, beautiful puzzles. Here's number three in the set. Um, and that's another nice, nice shot there. Quite an unusual shot there. And this is another one where, um, I don't believe I've seen this photo anywhere else. Um, it might be in the book actually, thinking about it, the um, Cosgrove Hall version of the novel. Um, but I love it, we've got the miniature, it's interesting, we've got the miniatures of Ratty and Mole, um, but the weasels are actually, um, they're the full size puppets. I don't think they ever did any miniatures of the weasels. Um, so they've actually done a bit of uh, false perspective there, um, put the weasels as far back as they as you, they can, and it, and it works, they don't look, super big by any means um but yeah really really lovely and um again really pleased with the quality of this i mean that one is stunning quality actually really really nice um so yeah these puzzles they're not they're not super rare uh, they do pop up on ebay every now and then so do look out for them if you want to add them to your collection they're really nice pieces here's the final one number four um Nice to see Badger here with his blunderbuss there. Uh, all the guns. This is obviously the scene where um, the four of them are heading off to Toad Hall to fight the weasels. Um, nice seeing Toad with his sword there. Um, and then we've got the final the puzzle in there. Really, really lovely. So this, this puzzle is um, basically brought out by St Michael. A uh, company called St Michael, 30 pieces, and you can see they're age four plus, so again, aimed at young children. Um, and we do actually have um, not toy shaped pieces, but kind of I don't know if I can get the light there. You can see round, um, uh, whoops, uh, Ratty Mole and Toad, we've got these sort of rounder pieces that slot in. Uh, not Badger, but um, I quite like that. It's quite nice seeing an illustration with um, the caravan, um, which you don't see often. Quite nice having that on the end there, toad on, on top of a tree stump. <laughs> really lovely. And it says down the bottom there, uh, copyright Cosgrove Hall Productions Limited 1986. So this of course, um, four years later than those other jigsaws. Um, this one I've got here, not the best condition. I've got a few creases around the edges there, as you can see, but it's a lovely piece to have. Um, found it again on eBay quite some time ago now, so no real story behind it, but um, Lovely to find though. Um, and yeah, I've seen it pop up a few times since then, so do look out for it. It's not, like the others, it's not mega rare. Um, you can find them. Uh, and it's a lovely piece. So there you go. But that is, I believe, all the jigsaws that were bought out. So there you have it. That's a look at the Wind in the Willows jigsaw puzzle collection. Uh, so like I say, uh, nine puzzles in total, so four in the set of small ones there, and four big ones, and then the, the one-off um, St Michael one at the back there. Um, but do please leave any comments if you know of any others. I've never seen any, but I'd be very, very uh, keen to hear from anyone who has, so um, let me know. So, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as always, please do comment, like, subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified of uh, future videos. And as I said in my intro video, I'm gonna be doing uh, one of these every week. Um, haven't decided what next week uh, next week's focus will be yet, um, but I like the idea of keeping them a surprise anyway. So, do look out for that, and I'll see you in a week's time. All right then, thanks everyone, and all the best. <laughs>